Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. It is not a good day. Pouring rain out there, but something crazy happened. I just came outside to feed the baby chickens and they're looking safe. Everybody's in there, but look at this. I left a bag of apples on here last night, like a whole bag. There was a lot of apples in here last night and now, the bag is empty and it's got holes all through the bag you guys see it let's see can't see if there's any like footprints because the dogs were all running through here huh well that does not make me happy get in there are you crazy do you want me to catch you Now I'm freaked out. I'm freaked out. I'm scared. I gotta rethink my decision here. Obviously they were lured in here by the smell of the apples, hopefully. But I think we need to put something big on top of this. The other chicken coop is secure. This barn is not secure. Like there's probably raccoons going in and out of this barn. But I don't think they can break into this freezer. But, does that mean that it's okay to leave them in here? Like, they can't rip this off. See? Like, it's all screwed on there. This netting right here is just stapled on, but it, it but this, but it has like an actual net here that is screwed on so tight, like this wooden thing, this metal thing. So they can't get in there. I mean, they could maybe lift this up. I wonder if this lock works. Oh, that's not a lock. Anyway, I'm gonna get Sam to figure it out. It makes me nervous. I can't believe they ate all my apples. That actually makes me so sad. Anyway, it's pouring rain. It just started and I see ladies soaked and it's cold. So I'm gonna maybe bring them in, put some blankets on them because I don't want them to get wet. Get out of the poop pile. Come on. But yesterday I posted about how Lady, when she's bored at the show and Sophie's riding her still, waiting for her second turn, she chews the girth because she's a chewer. No, not the girth. She chews the, the stirrups because she's a chewer. And then somebody said like, oh, why don't you use like a roller bit so that she can play with it when she's bored. And I was like, light bulbs went off in my head because we've done that before. And it didn't work. Oh, and it didn't work? Nope. We did it before with Chino. Yeah. How come it didn't work? Chino loves to chew the bit. He'll chew anything. I know, but that's the whole point of it. Yeah, well, it rolls. He likes to chew. Oh. All right, well, different horse. Let's try it. Do you know where all the bits are? Look at this curl knows where everything is. I also wanted to check out my supplements here because I have a supplement that I wanted to put storm on i got glucosamine i've got i have a lot of stuff here okay sophie sophie you're not gonna believe what happened do you remember the bag of apples that i took out of the fridge yesterday and then we took six and gave them to the horses i found the bag on the chicken thing ripped to pieces chickens how could the chickens get the- Well, uh, just answer! Probably raccoons. Oh. All right, so anyways, you have that bit though, right? I don't know. But did we have that bit for Chino? Pretty sure we did. All right, find his halter. His, find his bridle and we'll see if it's on there. It is That's his butt? Bit. Oh. Yeah. That was the bit that we were trying that was with him. the latest one that we were trying. Yeah, we were trying so many bits. And that's the new one. It's like a, what was it called? A smart bit or something? Yeah, yeah. So a first person to find the bits, the bucket of bits gets 50 bucks. There's so many horseshoes. All right, which one of these is Gabby's? Huh? 
That's not even true. No. Because Gabby is the keeper of the bits, I feel like. Touch the bits. All right, you guys, somebody stole our bits. Just joking. <laughs> we are the loser of bits. Anyway, I love the idea. It's the same bit that she has right now. Actually, what does she have right now, Sophie? Like, what a weird time in my life that I don't even know what bit you're riding in. I know it's a snaffle. It's a little bit that we use. Like uh, a- French length D-ring snaffle. Yeah, that's what I thought. All right, Gabby's the keeper of the name of the bits. Look at all these little hand sanitizers. Why do we not know where our bits are? I swear I saw them the other day. You did? I swear I did. All right, well, we're gonna come back to this because unfortunately we can't find our bits, but it's cold and we're hungry. But I appreciate you. I appreciate your comments, you guys. I appreciate you guys making suggestions. I can't believe I didn't think of that myself. She found one bit, but that is definitely not the right bit. That's like a oh, giant yeah. bit. No, well, I don't know. I Wouldn't it be one. weird if I looked through that whole thing and didn't see any bits and then you find them all in there? Wait, which one is that one, Tommy? A pinchy bit. A pinchy bit. Oh, that was I actually love it that when it's pouring rain outside and yucky, we can be in here and dry. Look at how cute these chickens are getting. The dogs still love watching them. <laughs> All right, well, we can't find them. I'm gonna, we're gonna find them and we're gonna get back to, we're gonna come back to this. But I'm gonna go in the house. I wanted to show you guys something. So I'm gonna do something on this channel that I don't know if I've ever done before. Oh, this is a foam review, you guys. This is something I've never really done on this channel before, but I wanted to tell you guys. So it's my birthday. It's my birthday month in three days. It's my birthday month in three days. You guys all know I love a good birthday month. Went from Sylvie's birthday month to my birthday month so fast. So anyway. I got this phone, it's due in two more, it's due in November. I have to, I, I can't get a new phone. This is my phone, I have a Fold, Samsung Fold. I don't know if it's like a three or a, or what it is, but it's like a nice Samsung phone. And I love this phone, this is like my dream phone. Some of you guys might remember when I was trying to buy this phone a year before it came out in Canada and I couldn't get it. I've never been hard on my phones. I've always kept them so guarded, cased to pieces, and I don't drop them. I'm really careful. I don't take it outside with me. I don't take it in the barn with me very rarely. Like, I'm super careful with my phone. This phone did not stand up. The first thing that happened is, so there's like this fold down the middle, right? And they come with a screensaver on them. And this one, it split down the middle. Like, with the first year, it just... It just split down the middle, the screensaver. So it peeled right off. Like I had the screensaver maybe a year and then it just peeled off. And it was just from regular wear and tear. And it was so annoying. Screen protector you mean? Yeah, screen, protect, screen protector, I mean. Anyway, so that was like one thing. And then the second thing that happened to it was that, and I have no idea how come this happened. Let me show you. So this is the phone and you open it up and it opens up like this. I don't know if you guys can see, but it stopped opening. So normally this thing opens all the way. So it's completely flat and you don't see this crease down the middle. And one day it just stopped opening all the way. Like I didn't drop it, nothing happened to it, but it doesn't open all the way. And it's just so frustrating. It makes it really hard to use it. it makes it like, it takes away from the whole experience. This is a super expensive phone. Sam was complaining the whole time that I wanted this phone because it's like, why do you always have to get like the phone that's like triple the price of a regular phone and i'm like because this is like my dream phone and then he's like yeah okay fine whatever just get it but then it didn't hold up and that made me so sad so this time when i renew my phone when i get a new one i'm not getting the fold like i'm not even sad about it i'm excited to go back to another one and the reason is the main sole reason is because it doesn't open all the way now and it makes watching it awkward I end up just watching the phone on this little tiny screen. This screen is smaller than like a regular phone. So what's the point of having this giant phone if you really can't use it in a giant, the giant format? So comment below you guys and tell me what phone you have. If you love it, I don't like Apple. Don't suggest Apple to me. Well, I mean, go ahead and suggest it, but I'm not gonna get Apple. I absolutely hate Apple. Everyone in my family has Apple. Like all my Sam and the girls have Apple. They love it. I hate it. I'm gonna tell you a quick story about 
my phone. This is when I learned to always trust my own instincts. Oh, this is one of the biggest things. So long ago, when I was getting my very first phone, I'm talking like so, so long ago when cell phones just started to get popular. And Try it. we had like the little tiny flip phone. We upgraded our flip phones to big phones and I have wanted the Samsung Note 3, I think it was called. It was this giant phone. And it's back when Apple phones were like this big still. They were so tiny. And I said to Sam, like, this is the phone I want. This is the one I'm gonna get. And he lost his mind over it. He was like, Laura, it's so big. You're gonna hate it. It's gonna be awful. Like, it's an awful phone. Don't get it. You're gonna like be so upset. You're gonna be so disappointed. And like, I was, I was like, no, I want this phone. I tried it out already. His brother had that phone. Uh, it's my dream phone. You notice the trend here? So anyways, he, was giving me such a hard time about it. I got an Apple phone and it was so small and I hated that phone for the whole time I had it. Like I hated it. I hated the font size. I hated everything about that phone. It was so basic and so simple and I just, I hated it. And so then the next time I got to change in my phone, I got that Note 4 maybe and man was it the phone of my dreams so that was like one of the big lessons that helped me to learn that just because something is right for someone else doesn't mean it's right for you well, you are the only person who knows what's right for you you can listen to other people's suggestions and take them in and and weigh them on your and weigh them against what you feel but in the end it's your choice you should get what you like Basically and just don't listen to your husband's. Yeah, basically don't listen to your husband. See, Sylvie's got it down, you guys. She'd be learning good. Anyway, I wanted to share that with you guys. If you guys are getting thinking about getting a fold phone or probably even a flip phone, I don't know. It did not hold up. And all my phones always hold up. This one was awful. Like, awful. Hi, guys. I'm in the barn, the horse barn. And Laura told me there was maybe a bunch of raccoons in here. So now I have to try and figure out... Gotta catch them. I got a tr live trap, so Laura's gonna get that. We're gonna set up the live trap for tonight. And the problem with this barn is that, well, obviously they, if they're here, they're here now. And they hide during the day, right? So the only place they can be is up there hiding up there because half of this is all covered up but they'd be up there somewhere and they'd be hiding and we can't see them so i'm gonna have to set up some traps and catch them and release them far far away <laughs> and keep doing that until we catch them all just checking in the back room here just to see if they're hiding back here or not Hello? nope yeah, I'm just checking the back. All right, so Sam's gonna rig up the live trap. Hopefully not catch the dog. Well, the dog won't be out here when we're not out yeah. here. All right. I hope you have something good. I have cat food, canned oh, yeah. cat food. Yeah, apple. <laughs> well, we know they like apples. Oh, I think I should get... Cat food? Yeah, I think ah. cat food. That would work too, I know raccoons can open like a cooler. They can open lots of things. This is heavy. So they'd have to open it and hold it. Open it and hold it as they like. But I've seen raccoons do crazy things. So Sam's going to try and rig this so that they can't open it. Maybe put like more of those things and then tie it down. Do you know where the bits are? Nope. I know we have bits. Like we've been, we were collecting bits for a while. But I can't find the bits. This is my first aid cabinet. Oh, you know what? This is my, this is my butte. My vet only sells liquid butte now and it freezes in the winter. I'm gonna bring it inside. My brain does this weird thing where when I'm sleeping, I'll suddenly remember where something is. So I'll wake up in the middle of the night and I'll be like, oh, that's where it is. You guys know how men notoriously look for something and stare straight at it and then it can't find it and then you have to go and help them? Well, I swear, Sam is rubbing off on me because I looked in these drawers earlier. I think this is my drawer actually. And I found some bits. I don't know if it's all of our bits. It's probably just the ones that we've never used. Ooh, that one's cool. It's huge though. Isn't that cool? 
got the one I'm looking for. That's the very first bit we ever had. Is not here. These are like all the nutcracker ones that we don't use. <gasps> Wait a minute. That's just a regular French link D. D ring French link, right? Yeah, we have one with the ball though. Well, that's a bust. This is literally so cozy. So cozy being out here with the chickens. I wish the chickens could all be in here. Or I don't wish the chickens could all be in here because they'd be gross. But I wish that we had a chicken coop that was huge like this. Sam, I want a huge ch chicken coop. Maybe that'll be on the next year's list. I want a huge chicken coop that you can go in and sit in and watch them because just watching them makes you happy. Oh, how am I going to open it tomorrow and feed them? I'm going to get a key? Yeah. Don't leave it here. The raccoons have probably run off with it. Okay, so Sam, tell them about why you don't think it's raccoons. He always says that and it's always oh, raccoons. It could be raccoons. You said it's not because they took the apples with them. Yeah. How do you know they just didn't sit here and eat them? Because you'd have everywhere. He said you'd have apple crumbs everywhere. Did you see the bag? It'd be a whole family then because there's a lot of apples. That was a big bag of apples. <laughs> All right, there we go. We are set up. We're going to catch us some raccoons. Do you guys know how you can tell that they're nice and warm in there even though it's freezing outside? It's because they sleep far from the light. The babies did that too. It's really warm in there. It's so nice. Even though like one side is open for ventilation, they love it in there. It's so warm. Hopefully everything goes okay. Sam locked them in with a chain and a lock and so they can't, nothing can get in there. You can hardly even open the lid. So they should be safe, but hopefully we catch us some raccoons. Anyway, that is it for today's video. I'm gonna go get Sophie. We're gonna do the chickens. Chickens are the hardest, but I love them. So we just keep doing it. And that's a big thing in life. Even when things are hard, if you chip away one day at a time, things get done. And before you know it, it's spring and it's easy again. Don't you know?